<laughs> Advertising is based on one thing. Happiness. It's a billboard on the side of the road that screams with reassurance that whatever you're doing, you are okay. A man like you, I'd follow into combat blindfolded. And I wouldn't be the first. Am I right, buddy? I'm living like there's no tomorrow because there isn't one. This place really runs on charm. I'm not going to let a woman talk to me like this. I hear she's a nice girl. Eh, who wants that? Even if you do get my job, you'll never run this place. Want to know why? Because no one will like you. Season one takes place between March and November of 1960. It introduces the fi fictional advertising agency Sterling Cooper. The season begins with the new secretary, Peggy Olson, starting her first day with the firm. As the season unfolds, the mysterious backstory of the enigmatic ad man Don Draper is revealed as he is the growing confidence and success of Peggy Olson. Hmm, I didn't even see it like that, yeah. He did what he pretty much prep her head up to be a good writer, like go, go beyond just be a second like that. He was the one who knows that like, she can pitch well and create a lot of great advertisement. And you used everything she did to come up for real? Mm -hmm. It's like you see their character interaction, especially when as soon as she gets what you comfortable with being in Sonny Cooper, she starts like being someone's flirtation towards her, him. Well, that was at the beginning. He, he quickly some dismissed that in like what the episode one. So they never went yeah. back to that ever again. I love that saying he's like, I am not your boyfriend, I'm your boss. Yeah, that's the first episode. Shit, like, no, I'm not trying to sleep with no motherfucking secretary, motherfucker. I mean, he doesn't, he's a mindset with a lot of people, but his secretary, nah, that's off limit. Yeah, but well, see, let's talk about some um, Mad Men. What, what did you think about uh, Mad Men season one? Uh, what what made you want to watch Mad Men season one? Okay, so a while back ago, I was at a thrift store, but looking for like some old games and game consoles. Where I saw a display place, I mean a display case, showing a whole bunch of seasons of eight, not eighties, old school TV shows. Mad Men being one of them. So seeing that, you know, it's like one of those most iconic TV series of our time. I figured, why not get it? Because I can hear a lot of great things about it. And plus, I remember, like, people back in 2008 was talking all hype about it. And, see, and like, say, giving so much praise. And I kind of messed up on it because I didn't have cable at the time. So, I figured, why not? Universe gave me an opening. Take the DVD set and watch it. First season. Well, I felt like, um, um, because I was watching a lot of TV back then as well. I remember when Mad Men first popped up. Um, I was like, um, I couldn't understand why I was getting all the praise because my favorite show I was out at the time lost mm -hmm. and I just, like it was all these new shows coming out and that people was like yeah this the shit this shit I'm like man but what about lost lost killing it right now like I don't understand so I, I oh you was mad at lost lost the shine yeah because of mad man <laughs> yeah mad mad man and also breaking bad mad man make you a mad man yeah mad men and breaking bad both those two shows really um took over the award season around that time so I was like man yeah fuck I remember it. that season because like people any people who they watch TV like it was even anime nerds in college who was hobby madman. That's how popular like, madman was. Anime nerds, the anime nerds my, my college was hobby madman. Up, oh. um, I checked out one episode. It was like around like season five or some shit like that. And I like checked out one episode, just watched it, and I was like, okay, I understand the writing is really well, well written. Like the setting, like I couldn't knock it. I just I didn't have time to watch a whole new show. I was still watching Lost and loved Lost, and I just didn't. I couldn't stand that other show. Was just, that was getting awards for my show. <laughs> the, on the beginning of Mad Men season one. I just want to be honest with you, man. I really didn't like it. You didn't? No. Why's that? Um, at the beginning, man, I was like really like pissed off that like basically it's all these white people that was showing no black people. And when they did, it was all in oh, yeah, it, was, it was all subservient, which we were all in those. Yes, I mean it jobs. was not sexy. We did have those porter jobs, those LA entertainment jobs, low level jobs with no advancement. So I understand where you're coming from. Yeah, I I I, I, so I was a hating that. I didn't like any of the characters. I'm gonna be honest. I didn't like any of even Don Draper. I'm like, like I didn't understand like why he was cheating on his wife. His wife, I understand if a person was cheating on his wife. His wife was like a horrible person, but it's like. But at the same time, you have a family. Like, okay, yeah, you, your wife is a bitch, but you don't want to destroy your image. His wife's not even a bitch. Not even a bitch. Well, to him, he's probably like a bitch, but at the same time, it's like she not though. But he just, he just looking for an excuse to cheat, dude. Yeah, like he's a child, like he's a he's a man child. He yeah. is a he's 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 not. I can't say he's like he had a size. He's like he has a high school mindset. He has a fucking 
kindergarten mindset. Yeah, that, and that, that's the type, type of thing I was like noticing at the beginning. And what warmed me over was for real episode 10, 11, and 12. Like, oh, especially it's like it gets towards like his, no, his younger days. And it's like, this dude is still a little child. Like, and, and, you always run away from things you don't want to face. Like, grow the fuck up. And the, and the, and the, the, the best character in this whole show was um, his boss, um, Coop uh, Sterling. Mm hmm. Like his boss, he was the most OG in it, motherfucker. He was like, I never forget he the line. He was trying to make everybody in. He realized all these young motherfuckers keep fucking things up for him. Like, you got these young people who think the hot shots, but dude, like, that hot shot shit is gonna destroy your company. Rain, it all, rain them all in, especially Cooper. Not Cooper, especially Don. No, he really didn't give a shit about what Don was doing because Don knew how to close. But the whole thing was like, like he, I never forget the line he said in the show. He was like, uh, your generation, y'all drink because y'all got motherfucking problems. We drink because we like it. We we like you know we actually enjoy the drink. You just drinking to, to suppress some feelings and shit. Speaking of, I love this one line. I forgot who somebody actually somebody could check Don saying smoking is a weakness. Why are you smoking uh -huh. during business? Uh -huh. Don't smoke conducting that, business. That's the other boss. That was the other boss. The other boss guy. Um, the other of Cooper Sterling Cooper. Mm -hmm. He said that because he was a big OG. He was getting all. You guys noticed when all the OGs were drinking, they were drinking in celebration of closing and making business deals. All the young guys were drinking because they would have fun, play around, goof off. Right. That's Dr why. That's how the culture got fucked up in that workplace because you got people drinking, having sex, smoking cigarettes, thinking, "Oh, we just have, you know, this is just a playground. We're making money and we're having fun." No, you all there to make money, close deals, stop being a fucking kid. And that's what Don was as well. Don didn't have that type of mind frame. At least he went out and he did it when he celebrated. He, yeah, he did a case on drink at work, but he wasn't like chugging the shit. Yeah, and you know these it's niggas. Like that one all, scene where they drink for no reason. Yeah, they broke out the acid to drink to watch next year and the young dude they on uh, JFK debate. It's like y'all are drinking acid. Y'all, y'all are having fun by looking at politics, knowing good and damn well whoever wins can either make your business better or destroy it, depending on the politics. Y'all should be concerned. Y'all should be selling this shit, not getting, oh, let's, oh, let's have a watch party on people debating that could change our company in future. It can't, no, the, the, the nails watching it because they, you know, they was doing business with the Nixon stuff. Yeah. I mean, that's but why still, they like, why are you shit. drinking, why doing business? I mean, that was, um, at the hour, they staying up to watch the whole election. I mean, back in the day, um, that's how long elections took all night. They did a lot of, like, very forcefully talking about the Jew stuff. The Jewish stuff. They kept constantly talking about Jews this, Jew that at the, be at the beginning of the season. They sort of laid off it later on, but it was heavy, like, on the Jew stuff. Heavy on the feminist, like, not feminist, but uh, anti-woman stuff. Um, they, they they did, like, one shot towards black people. Like, two, one, yeah, one shot. Yeah, one shot towards black people in the whole entire first season. Um... It was a joke about the dude tomorrow. I can write a story. I was in an elevator with a bunch of black people, and no one fought. We just rolled the elevator quietly. Ain't that entertaining? Yeah, talk about how he wanted. And dude was like, "No, that's not." Yeah, talk about how it'd be better if the uh, elevator team was like some a white girl. He was that, like that. That, that was uh, later on in the season. Yeah, he said that too. That, that, that's actually a good story. But he was only saying that shit to um, lie about the movie because the movie wasn't even about that. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, "No, the movie wasn't even about that, dude. Like you're lying." It, it, he thought thought shot psycho and she was like, dude, what are you talking about? What the f That's fuck? not the movie. The movie's actually about this. She's talking about our cheater and all this other shit, you know. But that was that. I think that that was it. The the, the feminist shit, the, the Jewish stuff. Um, like I said, they really didn't throw shots of black people like that. Um, cause the big thing they kept really focusing on is really how the men treated women. White men treated women. <laughs> cause doesn't that be known? Well, no black men for real in the show, but the people who was working. That was it. And they'll, they'll sometimes get references from the black people like, like, damn, these white people cheat. Like when they was in the um, bathroom, the two ladies, and they came out like, damn, they purchased to get any smaller. Shit, we ain't going to be broke. The people, do, the two female, black females who was like the bathroom attendants. Mm. Um, how a bunch of black people got fired because of that party that you just yeah. mentioned earlier. And Peggy even mentioned like they, they, they were even working that day. They can start firing them because they're black Boom. and have cover up the people who actually stole the stuff. Boom. So that was fucked up. Um, like they did a little stuff like that, showing like the outcomes of like black people. They were showing black the black perspective, but they weren't showing black people. 
Um, I already know the show. The show never touches on this ever. Like I already know the show never will touch on uh, race and all that shit. I think one of the characters started dating a uh, black character, but I don't know. I really wasn't truly invested. Like man, I don't even give a shit about the show. But like I said, when I hit episode ten and eleven and twelve, it that show t- turned me around. Like okay, these characters they they. I'm I'm growing and growing. I'm starting. To, I see them. I'm like watching them. I'm like okay, they are. Yeah, I'm just starting to like them a little bit more now. And these characters doing this. See, I'm the opposite. Like throughout the show, I was like, man, you got some fucking assholes. I can't even like none of y'all. No, that's how I was at the beginning. That's what I said. But was I can it makes it good writing, like good character design. Like wow, you guys are so horrible people. I can't even root for none of y'all. But, but at the same time, I kind of want to come back and see y'all start to see yeah. how y'all little fuck the ashes come back to haunt y'all. Yeah, and that's sort of what the wheel episodes was all about. Which I love why it's called the wheel because like everything came back on everybody. Piggy got pregnant. Don got got revealed. Mm-hmm. Oh, dude, having a heart attack. He, he he thinks he's seven. He thinks he's so young he can still act like he's you know ten years younger than everybody. Ten years younger than himself. Mm. All the people who thought they was doing no, they were okay doing all the fuck shit came back on them. Now they got to deal with it. Now they got to face okay. Even old boy who tried to blackmail Don, he thought that he could just worm his way to the top. And, he, and I love how Don, um, basically went went at him. Don basically like well, I'm gonna go in there and tell him myself, nigga, I ain't fucking scared of your shit. You about to do? He did, and guess what? His boss didn't care. As long as he, as and, long as Don produced results. Right. Who fucking cares? Right. And Don was shocked. Like, oh shit! I don't have to run. And I'm about to run. That that's something. And like he, when it all came down to it, man, he's not such a great character. After watching no, this first season, no, he's not. Like, like oh, you just a little coward, a little bitch, and you, you can never a pussy. You you literally for the run away. You literally for the run away. And I, and I, I can't like we got a bonus. Like, let's go a purse. Let's go a purse. Right. And, and what the girl the fuck? And, and his side chick were like, what? Like, I just got got some money. I'm like nigga, what? You already gave all your life savings to your brother, and he killed himself. <laughs> like Jesus Christ, his brother who also was grieving lost his parents, who did not know he had family left until he saw Don again, and when Don pretty much told him fuck off, Man. that's what broke him. Yep. Like it, like the dude fucked up person. Um, I guess that's why people like the show, <laughs> uh, even though loss was very great. But hey, you know, do it like that. Um, 